Rob Carley winning tonight for Murdoch Mysteries. Uh, how are you feeling about all the success that that show has brought you? Well, it's, it's a thrill. I mean, to be a part of a show which you think maybe will go for three or four seasons and then it keeps going to now nine, it's, it's a real thrill and an honor. And I'm just happy to be here uh, representing uh, Murdoch Mysteries. It's kind of a challenge when you're working as a composer to kind of fulfill everybody's vision or the producer and director's vision. Uh, how does that give and take go for a show like Murdoch Mysteries? Once you figure out the sound of a show like Murdoch or any other TV show that's going on for multiple seasons, it becomes a bit more routine and there's a real comfort level. And so that's the beauty of working on a, a television show that does have some legs because everyone gets very, very comfortable and the show gets a lot of confidence as it goes. And it's that's what, you know, it's a dream really to be on a show like that where you know, there, there aren't that many surprises. How would you describe that sound of Murdoch? Like if you had to say, well, this is what it sounds like, can you can you describe it in words? At its core, it's kind of a classical score, but with a little more of a, a modern edge using, you know, things like delays and ring modulators, and a, I guess with a real metallic bias. Accidentally, I, it became a steampunk sound. I mean, when we started the show, I wasn't even kind of really into that whole thing, but then it just sort of took off with that in tandem. So. It does have a little bit of a steam, steampunkish element to it, even though we started like 10 years ago, and even more than that. Yeah. That's just perfect. That's a perfect description because it's perfect for the show. A yeah, steampunk. It it's works like out. Victorian. Absolutely. Victorian rock. Thanks so much, Rob. Enjoy the evening. Cheers.